Iowa. If you vote, they will come. The spotlight is on Iowa. They are the presidential candidates who every four years launch newfound White House hopes, attracting press, pundits, consultants, and cronies. The Iowa caucus is first in the nation for good reason, and it should be. My name is Dave Davidson. I'm a photographer and author living in Iowa with my hot wife and our gobs of kids. You may notice I'm a little tall, so I'd like to share with you my perspective. The past two Iowa caucuses inspired underdog victories like no other. And I was there behind the scenes capturing the candidates like a polite presidential paparazzi. I was there in 2008 when Barack Obama upset Hillary Clinton and Mike Huckabee defeated Mitt Romney. That tie was a gift given to me by Mitt Romney. Irony of ironies, I was wearing it the night of the caucus. And you just realized it. And all along the 2012 campaign trail, of coffee shops, debates, heartaches, and handshakes. When Minnesotans, Michelle Bachman and Tim Pawlenty bet all their chips on the Iowa straw poll. It's tough luck, Charlie. When Newt Gingrich and Herman Cain shared days in the spotlight. Pepperoni, Italian sausage, and a lot of cheese. When Texans Ron Paul and Rick Perry campaigned on their own terms. When Mike Huckabee and Sarah Palin flirted with joining the race. <laughs> And of course, when Rick Santorum edged out Mitt Romney. With 2016 fast approaching, we look at the key players, the plot backdrops, and the rare glimpses influencing and foreshadowing the next presidential election. These are the inside stories from Iowa insiders you won't find anywhere else. You can't find anywhere else. Google it today! That Google what? Rude, it? Man, Google it? Here behind the scenes. Really, you're good at that. Yeah. Appreciate it. Through my lens. Politics, politics, politics. She the president. <laughs> this is awesome. Did he win you over? Almost. Yeah. Almost, okay. <laughs>